Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you the best way to complete the Retrieve the Data mission, including a cool build and a good hero loadout. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to use my credit code LTWORLD in the Fortnite item shop. I've done a rebrand recently, so it's all changed. So without further ado, let's begin with today's video. So some of you may be wondering what is Retrieve the Data. So Retrieve the Data is basically a mission where you have to defend an air balloon while it's collecting data. Simple as that. For the first part of this video, I'm going to show you the hero loadout and then the second part I'll show you how to actually build the best defense. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to our command section at the top here and we're going to click on heroes and hero loadout. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a brand new hero loadout so here's one right here and we're going to come to the commander and click this button here. Now as you can see here we've got different symbols we've got soldier, constructor, ninja and outlander. What we want right here is the constructor and we want to find any constructor that you have. So some people might have base Kyle, some people might have penny, it doesn't matter if it's legendary it can also be epic as well but the legendary usually give the best perks and for our team perk what we're going to want to do is get supercharged trap. So basically what this does it increases damage of traps which have the the base perk which I'll show you later. So we're going to click supercharge traps and we're also going to assign a support team. So what we need basically is more constructors on our team that give good perks. So this one right here it increases the base connectivity range by one so we're going to click one on that. This one does some extra damage with energy so I'm going to click this one. As you can see this one um, ally standing on structures gets some health so we're going to click that one. This one increases melee weapons so we don't really need that. Uh, this one increases damage and melee attack speed so we're going to click this one and we're going to come to one more uh, here. Structures affected by base are healed 4%. For gadgets, we're going to choose our adrenaline rush. Usually, you want to choose your gadget that is level 6, but for this case, I'm not level 6 and this is the highest, so I'll choose this one. And we're also going to go for our second highest, which will be the stationary hover turret. Some people can use banners, as you can see here, banner. Uh, basically, this just makes you respawn on your banner instead of respawning at the start if you do die. So now that the hero loadout is done, we're going to come to the actual map now. So we're going to come to map and we're going to go into one of these retrieve the data missions. Okay, so now that we've loaded it into the mission, what we're going to do is we're going to find the balloon. So all you do is basically just look up until you find the balloon. So as you can see, I found it right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the balloon. And as you can see, I've arrived at the area. So depending on your mission, you're going to use different materials. So missions that have the metal corrosion, you want to use brick. And for missions that have water zombies, you want to use metal. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a one by one here and we're going to fully upgrade this. Alright, so now that this area has been fully upgraded, what we're going to do is pop right out and we're going to get some cones around the side. So one cone here, one cone there, one cone there and one cone there. So what we're going to do is edit these cones so they lift up just like this. And we're going to do this on every single side. And as you can see from the top, all the cones have been edited. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place a floor underneath all of these cones. And what we're going to do is we're going to fully upgrade these as well. Okay, so now that this is all fully upgraded, what we're going to do is we're going to place a ceiling there, a ceiling there, a ceiling there, and a ceiling there. We're also going to fully upgrade this as well. All right, so now that this is fully upgraded, what we're going to do is going to start placing some traps. So on the bottom lay here, what we're going to do is we're going to place some floor launcher traps. So as you can see here, I placed one there, one here, one here, and one here. And we're also going to get our wall darts as well. So let's find our wall darts. We're going to put one here, 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 and on the other side right here. So it's pretty much going to look something like this. Now, of course, this obviously does require some fighting. But if you do want to make it as passive as possible, what you can do is you can actually add some ceiling electric fields here. So what we're going to do is get our ceiling electric fields, pop one there, pop one here, pop one here, and pop one there. Make sure that you also do fully upgrade these as well. All right, so now this is all fully upgraded, what we're going to be doing is we're going to start the mission. So we're going to come to open mission control, start objective and start objective. So now, as you can see, the balloon has a health. What we're going to do is we're going to shoot this down with a bow right there. We're going to place a metal floor here and we're going to come to our trap menu, our floor trap menu and click base. Base is going to go right here. And as you can see, the HP of these walls go up quite a bit, place a cone on top, and that's pretty much it. So basically what happens is these floor launchers whack the zombies up here, back into the ceiling electric field, and then kills them. It's by far the easiest way to get this mission done, and you don't necessarily have to worry about the zombies either. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to join the Discord server in the link below. We offer so much help, we do so many giveaways, and thanks for watching, take care.